two brothers, Jimmy, age 14, and John, age 19, though that's not their real names, without safety ropes or harnesses or climbing gear of any kind, attempted to scale a sheer canyon wall in my native southern Utah. You know, I think this is what Mom was talking about. And she said not to do anything stupid. Well, I'm not going to tell her. And neither are you, right? Well, no, but if you fall and die, I, I'm just saying I told you so now, so I don't have to say it then. <laughs> Look, we're not going to die, OK? Now stop talking and start climbing. Near the top of their laborious climb, they discovered that a protruding ledge denied them their final few feet of ascent. They could not get over it, but neither could they now retreat from it. They were stranded. I'm gonna stand here, and I need you to step on my knee and then on my shoulders, and I'm gonna boost you up, okay? I won't make it, that's not gonna work. Look, it has to work, all right? Come on. Good. Now, my shoulders. There you go. Right there. One more. After careful maneuvering, John found enough footing to boost his younger brother to safety on the top of the ledge. But there was no way to lift himself. Okay, I made it. Now it's your turn. We gotta get you up here. There's gotta be another way. There's no other way up. I gotta go over the top. Here we go. Find a tree branch that's strong enough to hold me and pull me up. I can hold on. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Just go. I can hold on. Unable to hold on much longer, John decided his only option was to try to jump vertically in an effort to grab the top of the overhanging ledge. Jimmy! If successful, he might, by his considerable arm strength, pull himself to safety. In his own words, he said, giving him enough time to be out of sight, I said my last prayer. Heavenly Father, I'm so sorry. Please, please, bless my family and help them know that I love them so much. And please, please, bless Jimmy that he'll find a way to make it home safely. Then I left. Suddenly, two hands shot out, grabbing my wrists with a strength and a determination that belied their size. My faithful little brother, had not gone looking for any fictitious tree branch. Guessing exactly what I was planning to do, he had never moved an inch. He had simply waited, silently, almost breathlessly, knowing full well I would be foolish enough to try to make that jump. When I did, he grabbed me. He held me, and he refused to let me fall. Those strong brotherly arms saved my life that day as I dangled helplessly above what surely would have been certain death. Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, suffered, died, and rose from death 
in order that he could, like lightning in a summer storm, grasp us as we fall, hold us with his might, and through our obedience to his commandments, lift us to eternal life.